All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with our last game of the day. We've got a head versus Team Cleave, though we got a little bit of a name change here, Merlini. Team Cleave, they're now Team Aware. Were you aware of their change? I don't, I don't know which name I like worse. <laughs> aware or ahead. I think both of those are not very good team names, but I mean, what can you do if the sponsor gives it to you? You keep confusing it. It's it's uh, Aware and Cleave are the same team, and they're facing oh, up no, 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 I know. I'm, I'm oh, you're, about... oh, you're comparing these two? Oh, yeah, like... which one do you like less or more? Whatever you want, you want to say. Aware or ahead? Um, aware or ahead? Team ahead. I, I think I like ahead better. Yeah, I, I would agree with that, At too. least ahead you can be like, team, we're getting ahead. Like, you can have like a, what do you say? Team Aware, are we... Have good map awareness. Like, what's your slogan? What's your, like... It was like when I when I went to private school for a few years when I was younger, and our team, we were the Falcons, but we were we were the Friendly Falcons. Like, friendly? How, how, how are you going to name, like, your sports teams the Friendly Falcons? That doesn't instill fear in your enemies. I don't know. You when you're playing like, football, you're just like, hey, what's up? You're supposed to be, like, the Cougars, or, like, the, you know, the Jaguars. Falcons, they can be Falcons angry. can be mean, but not the friendly ones. Not the friendly ones. Why, why do you have to tack friendly on it? I, I just never understood. <laughs> well, we can call it friendly aware like. or friendly ahead. <laughs> the friendly aware. So we've got aware we need, versus We head. need live polls so we can say which one. Polls? Polls, yeah. So oh, the like viewers can decide. Oh, yeah, like pull up a little poll. That'd be cool. That'd mm -hmm. be awesome. But uh, we don't have bets because Dota 2 Lounge is down. Somebody broke the server. Somebody shot the guinea pig that was running. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people were glad that it was down or they would have lost a lot of rares. A lot so of rares would have been lost on that last Blessing game. in disguise. Yeah, perhaps. But uh, we've got a game here, and uh, let's see if we can hop on into it. Aware is Team Cleave. And, okay, geez. i gotta got to do too much mental mental stuff here. So, all right, Team Cleave up on the top. And uh, we've got Team Ahead on our Radiant side. Looks like they will be taking a paid from Relax. You're doing fine. Relax. Let's play book. And go with the AA Dazzle. I mean... Well, actually, they had AA Venom, but still AA top priority. Apparently, I mean, last game it did do a lot of work after he stopped feeding. He was zero four to zero, <laughs> and then he got a scepter, and then he started owning. Yeah, I'm AA Venom is not bad if you can get there, but if you're gonna pick those heroes, you need to be ready. Like I think Naga was the key facet for that strategy working. They needed somebody who could stall. Yes. And who could keep the supports alive. Well, it was also really good versus Life Stealer. And he had a Heaven's Halberd. So even, yep. uh, like, net during Rage, net is five seconds, I believe. Rage is six. And yeah. then, boom. Five there goes all of his Rage. Minutes. And then you Heaven's Halberd out of there. And then you DK stun. You do Venno Gale. He Six literally seconds. could not touch anyone yeah. after and that. Then Loda cries and breaks his keyboard Strong in half. Because Loda's not a Rager. No, but I'm just saying Dying it's frustrating. It not that frustrating. Loda, I didn't mean that as Loda is a Rager as much as just like oh, anybody yeah. would be mad in that scenario. I would if that if I was on the Life Stealer that last game and they had all of those crowd controls to shut me down, I would have just been like, just do that like he drafted it for air. himself, dude. <laughs> he only has himself to blame for the. I mean, I don't think the draft Radiant was poor. I don't think the draft was poor, but I think Life Stealer is just kind of poor. Like in like I, I don't know. I think Life Stealer's think, time to shine is. I think he's he's pretty good. Not versus not versus AA with the aura from the not versus AA Naga, but I, AA Naga and Venno and DK. Didn't they pick Life in Ember. pretty early in that draft though? Wasn't that like a second or third pick? I don't remember. Life Probably. Stealer? Yeah, that's I don't know. I just he's too he's too single target. He's too Ten not like Ember Spirit. Remaining. Okay. Ember I, Spirit does a lot of damage. Remaining. I don't think Dazzle fit that well into the strategy either. He could have if Ake was landing graves. Yeah, but that it's, was the it's still problem. not that great versus A ultimate. Usually you just shatter afterwards if you if you have to grave really early. Remaining. Yeah, that's true. Dazzle is... Or, talking about this draft. Oh, yeah. Aware... They... They... I haven't really been impressed with anyone except for Lawlick from their team. What are their records? Is it, Are they both 1-4? You know let's, let's take a look here. Yeah, that's, a, that's a good idea. Um... <laughs> Radiant team. So ben. we've got Team Cleave. They are one in six, and Team Ahead. They are one in and seven. So they are pretty comparable. Both, so uh, both in the fourteen and fifteen out of sixteen. Yikes. So uh, ten seconds. Yeah, remaining. the viable strategy for uh, against Aware or um, Five Team Cleave remaining. has been shut down. Lola. He's kind of their like S four relative to their team. Like he's their <laughs> mid player. He's their playmaker, and if he picks up Dyer momentum, he usually moves back. around the lanes, and the team tends to play better. If he gets shut down, then they tend to sort of get thrown in a state. I think it's way more so. I, I don't think S4 is as important to... No, I mean, it's not a super fair analogy, but just trying to 
Oh. Trying to find a way to explain it in something that's well, forth won't be Shut down Lolic, lose the or win the game. Yeah. That's that's the, the more rash remaining. way to say it. Just kill Lolic. I'm, He's good though. He's I'm, been making the plays. I'm crude. I'm cr I'm crude. I'm boorish. Rogers made some decent support plays. Who? Who? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who he is. Roger? I think he was playing Dazzle not that long ago. I just look at his name and I think ER. Like emergency room. I'm gonna send you to the ER. Because <laughs> he just has his last two letters capitalized for some reason. Jesus. Ben the machine woo. <laughs> He's just Radiant cutting team through the red pick. tape. Well, ahead, let's see who do they have here. They've got R Zeke, Seema the Slayer, No Fear, Aloha Dance, and Undershock is actually not with them today. They've got a stand in. And uh, maybe we can update our overlay here. It is Ame standing in. Dyer so he's been pick. he's been their consistent stand-in. Has he? Yes. I don't remember him either. But not for the same person. Like, they've had multiple people that are, like, not here. You know, whether it's, like, No Fear's not here or Undershock. You or know, it's really he's not here as they're standing. He's DC'd. Oh. Oh. So they're going with the somewhat global strat, long reach with the clockwork, with the storm, and to the global AA and Spectre. And the Dazzle for just a little bit of babysitting because he's a decent support and aware going with the GG Gorgon. Yeah. What do you think about Gorgon? Is she She's is she better or worse than Huskar? I share a striking resemblance. Uh-huh. So um, does that mean you're a Medusa aficionado? Or it just means I think she looks kinda cool. Actually I don't yeah. really like snakes. She kinda creeps me out. But I don't know, man. I don't think Medusa's very good. I think Medusa suffers from Morphling Syndrome. She needs way too many items to come online. If she gets six-slotted, she's dirty. She can make plays, but she's just... Is she, so she's better or worse than Morphling? I think she's worse than Morphling. I think she's got Morphling okay, Syndrome think... to the extreme. <laughs> okay. I, like, she needs more items to come online. It's a similar plight, but she has it like. But she also worse. scales better. That's true. That is definitely true. She is a harder carry. I think she's, she's worse than Morphling. I think so too. I think she's. What what if Morphling's like a, what three and a half out of ten? Medusa's a solid two. Two, two yeah. and a half. Two. two. Two and a half is generous. Two and a half is generous. I mean, okay. She just like she's pretty easy to gank. She's tanky. No, she's not. Look, four hundred starting hit points. What is this garbage? So like, <laughs> okay, you get Mystic Snake. Mana Shield's useless until you you start like getting a mana pool, right? Like, maybe you get a value point early on. But she has less HP than Enchantress. Yeah, like, come on. She's a squish bag. The only thing she has going for her is that Mystic Snake does some damage and steals mana. That's... I'm trying to make this hero sound not <laughs> awful. It's kind of okay, but it's not really that good. Her ultimate is the best part about her, I think, until she gets stacked. Because what's one thing that she does really well is she turtles. It's hard to push into her. But her ultimate is such a long cooldown. Like, you can just run away, and then you reset. Yeah, it's 90 seconds. I mean, you don't just use it to stop them from pushing. You use it to stop them from pushing, and then you kill them. It's a setup for a team fight. <laughs> I mean, you said the thing about Naga. Like, they don't have any physical damage to follow up, though. Well, like, okay, look, at, look at their damage. They have pure damage from Enchantress with their impetus. They have some physical from Nick Sesson with the Impale, but you don't think of Nick Sesson as a physical damage dealer. Pike has almost all magical, Yeah. and also Batrider does, too. So where's the physical damage coming from? I just don't think it was a well-thought-out lineup. Yes. I think they could have... They could even done better with a Morphling. Because yes. they don't have any hard disables on Right, on well, the... okay, so th that, that's a problem with the draft. That's not, it's not Medusa's fault that her ultimate, like... It's not Medusa's fault she doesn't fit in any draft. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, but, her, okay, her ultimate, right? You, it, you're immune to magic, but you take more physical damage. So she synergizes with a team that is very physical damage heavy. Like, like Dazzle. Like having a Dazzle, a Bristle back, heroes that can do AoE physical damage. Even, like, a Slardar wouldn't be too bad if you have some way to make Medusa get far <laughs> alongside a Slardar and a Bristle. <laughs> Um, but, you know, the the fact that they drafted her here with no physical damage, I, like, you can't say that that's part of the reason Medusa's shitty. Her ultimate is still good, I think. I think her ultimate is good. I like Stone Gaze. So it's, maybe it's she cool. could work well with, like, a Dazzle on her team. Yeah, sure. She could. I think Bristle works well with her as Bristle well. could also work he well. Does a, he just does a lot of AoE. They're both, like, damage. super tanky. It's like, hey, screw you. Go on us. You'll die. Yeah. So, but she just takes so, like... The fact that every stat is a good stat on Medusa, which is sort of a unique thing about her, like, to, at least to the degree that which it's true, right? Like, mana really helps, or, like, intellect really helps your mana shield, uh, or intelligence, rather. Agility, obviously, she's an agility hero. It helps her damage. And strength, it makes her tanky. She wants to survive. That's so, like, every stat is good on her, which isn't necessarily true for every hero, for most heroes, right? So, 
that fact, they have to make up for it by making her total weak sauce in the early game. And she's just so easy to pick on. Like, you know how you stop a Medusa? Just gank her. Anybody can do it. You don't even have to gank her. You just end the game. <laughs> just let her farm. And <laughs> just let her farm. Just push while she's still farming the lane. I don't know. I really yeah. don't think Medusa's strong at all right now. Like, she... And, again, this is one of those things where as soon as somebody wins a game with Medusa, people are going to be like, Oh my god, you said this about Morphling. Same with Medusa. See, you can win games. She is a really hard carry. And if you let the game go 60 minutes and let her farm up a Lincoln's, an Eye of Scotty, a Butterfly, and everything else under the sun, she's going to be a destroyer of worlds. She's going to make fuck all over your whole family. But <laughs> getting there is so difficult, it's just not worth it. It just isn't worth I mean, do you, am I talking out of my ass? No, I just, thought it, I just thought it was funny you said, make fuck all over your whole family. I mean, I don't know how to, how to be more extreme about it than that. She's... She is really good. She's like I. I would say she is the best rapier carrier. Though, carrier though. Better than Gyro. I think. Well, they're. It's close. I. I would. I think so because flat cannon. Like you only get X amount of shots and split shot. You can just keep. Like keep. you just keeps on. Like keeps on keeping on. You don't. There's nothing holding back the split shot. Whereas but I mean, er if every, everyone on your team survives six flat cannon shots, then <laughs> I right. mean, that's a fair point. But <laughs> what? Or do you think they're just a break even, or do you think Gyro is actually better as a mm. rapier carry? Gyro farms faster, so in that sense he can actually get his rapier faster, but in terms of just raw same net worth, I think that deuce is better. Okay, yeah. I, I would agree with that. I, I think that's fair. But, again, we're talking like, it, just because you can theorycraft how good she is in the late game, getting there is so difficult. I'm glad we have this pause so we can sit here and analyze Medusa to the next level. Well, let's check out her win rate. I would yeah. be surprised if it's above 40. I bet it's above 40. You bet it's above 40? I would be surprised if it's above 45. 45? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just kidding. I, I don't know about if this. If it was zero. above 45, I would be a little bit surprised. But Patch 6.80. What, yeah, what's the, what's the sample size we're working no with? No data available in table? No one has picked Medusa what? in a competitive game. Is this game. true? In 6.8? When was the last time you saw somebody pick a Medusa? I saw her played by E-Hug a long time ago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Try 6.79. 6.79. 11, 14, 44%. Okay. That's only 25 games, though. That's not a huge sample. Yeah. Havost played a little bit. A lot bit. of Havost games. Oh, it was actually Navi, I think. I saw I saw Ehug run up way before that. But okay. Yeah. That is... That... Yeah. Medusa needs work. She, she needs work. I think Mystic Snake could have faster travel time. I think that... Yeah. It does travel really She slow. could have a little bit better stats early, but worse stats later. Like, maybe worse stat growth, but better initial stats. Yes, I, w I would like that. Does she have really good stat growth? It's, or is it just normal? I think it's normal. It's not out of control. I, d I don't know what Medu Medusa... Medusa's not a hero who's, like, numbers I'm, I'm very privy with. We well, see her just I, so Did low. I put this in right? Medusa, 6.80, absolutely zero picks? Right, thank you. Yeah. Well, that's going to be a whopping 0% after this. <laughs> I, I just don't have faith in their lineup and their picks and just their overall play, too. I'm very scared. Stress was that Nyx Assassin. He's a Nyx Assassin in this game. Remember, he was a solo safe lane Storm Spirit mm -hmm. and got destroyed by a Nyx Assassin. Like, pooped on yes. left, right, center, all over that. the family. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> all over the family. <laughs> <laughs> it was just bad. And uh, I, don't, I don't know if they're going to make it. Yeah, I'm scared. I I'm scared as well. It, it's and it's not even just the Medusa, but it's this lack of synergy. Now you can do pure damage through stone form, so impetus isn't that bad. It's but it's a it's a it's just a support enchantress. Yeah, well I'm just saying like so that's like one thing that's like okay they have some phys it's physical slash pure that works in stone form, not just physical but or magic. Physical is much better. It's it's better. I'm just I mean, I'm just pointing out that Enchantress can still do damage <laughs> through Stone Gaze. Pray. <laughs> he doesn't. She doesn't make your whole entire team useless. Just two of the, <laughs> just three of the five heroes I'm, are useless. I'm trying to find positives here, Merlini. Right? There aren't I'm many positives to... about Medusa. Yeah, that's it's true. Don't try and turn a negative into a positive. Okay. Just say it like he is. Stop schooling me. With she that. is not good. Dumpster tier. Is she the definition of dumpster no. tier? No. Uh, spirit Breaker is. Spirit Breaker is. She's not Spirit Breaker level. You know, I saw on one of the YouTube videos from uh, that, that part begins. of the show where we were talking about that, somebody commented and said, for me, like, Spirit Breaker is okay because he can run fast, and Bloodseeker, sometimes he's okay in global strats, but they're both pretty bad. For me, it's basically the difference between cow shit and pig shit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was really good. <laughs> they're both dumpster deer. <laughs> they're both shit, but they're just from different animals. <laughs> oh, boy. Well...
Let's see if Aware can surprise us. They have... Well, so they're rebranded. Cleef is now Aware. Aware Stress on the Nick Assassin. Raj ER on the Enchantress. Lolik on the Solo Mid Puck. We have Yamaha on that Kiri Dusa, who we do not have high hopes for, but hopefully he will prove us wrong. Zico on the offlane Batrider, who is about oh, to die. Oh, Zico, he's in big trouble. He will make it back to the tree line, but that's a One more hit, he would have died. Yeah, but Tango keeps him alive. Wow. Yeah, he needs yeah, a... I think Dazzle might have been able to commit to that for one last auto attack. It would have been a little bit risky. He would have taken a tower shot, but... I don't uh, know. He has boots, though. It yeah. would have been close. Yeah, yeah, it would have been close. He probably could have gotten fogged in the trees as well. So eh, maybe the smart play here from... Look Stan at Raj ER. Yeah, he's about to gank poor Cluckles. Oh, no, Cluckles, no! Cluckles! <laughs> Cluckles has been killed. Cluckles the Brave. <laughs> Is that really what that courier is yeah, called? Yeah, it's Cluckles the Brave. <laughs> I've never seen that courier. <laughs> poor chicken. I don't know why that was so funny. Well, Raj ER sends that poor chicken. You Away. So that's a good bounty for where This is the start that Dusa needs. It can't get <laughs> much better. The radiant team. I need to collect my composure. <laughs> oh god. Poor Cluckles, man. <laughs> 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 what? It's Cluckles. Actually, technically, it's not Cluckles. They renamed them. But his name's Cluckles the Brave. <laughs> I believe you, just the, like, no, I wasn't even looking at it, just, no, Cluckles, like, what are you even, <laughs> oh, God, okay, so on the Radiant side, we've got, <laughs> I can introduce this, on Let's the Radiant side, we have RZQ on the AA, no fear on the offlane clockwork, seen with a Slayer on that safe farming specter he already has one point in desolate don't need that dispersion against an easy lane we have aloha dance on a solo mid storm spirit and sand in that amei on the dazzle all right i'm back guys Whew. all right game face let's get serious here so two and a half minutes in no first blood yet what are our lanes looking like we've got a safe lane try lane for this specter seeing with the slayer and free farm heaven and on the dire side it looks like clockwork's doing okay almost level four yamaha he's almost level four no fear is about to get wrecked uh-oh. Is he? No, he's not. Uh-oh. Yep, there he is. Cogs? Impale? Oh, the war stomp? Oh, they can't do it. It's nice too deep. Cog. cog blocked. Oh, and he gets a centaur. That's a feed. The well, players. they lose a smoke, they lose a centaur, they lose a lot of time and momentum, but Clockwork is out of mana, to be fair. He was pulled actually a fair amount of regen to share Tango's here often. You do not see that often, but maybe so he can get that early GG boots up ASAP. In the bottom lane is the Co. Level 3 on the Bat Rider compared to level 4 on Clockwork. And yeah, still, things pretty going even. pretty well. Aware, they did get that Cluckles kill, so now they're at 350 gold ahead. And. That should make the mid lane a lot easier for Lawlik, and they're not doing the game plan that we suggested, which is kill Lawlik, win game. <laughs> yeah, well, there's still plenty of time to pick on this fairy dragon. In the mid, it's a very even spread, both of the, the 11 last hits, carries both of them last hit of each other as well. The only difference is, although Batrider's getting experience, he hasn't gotten creep kills. So that is one disparity here where Clockwork has Oh, look at his Oh, he is, He's getting ballsy. He's feeling brave. Yeah, yeah, he's getting... So what do you think was going through a head's mind when they picked up the Dusa? They were like, Dusa, easiest win of my life. Or they're like, oh man, Dusa. We might have to do something about it. What do you think's going on? I don't know. I, I mean, it's he's su she's such a wild card. It could be, I don't know, too. It could be like, what are they thinking? Do they know something that we don't? Just like the absolute wild card where, where or maybe they've just been practicing Dusa. I, I still don't understand where she fits into this draft. I mean, we talked, we, we beat the dead horse and then beat it again about, uh, like, you need physical damage to synergize with the ultimate. So maybe Or a lot of space creators. Yeah, not the ultimate that they're, they're worried about. I mean, mm, she will go for a very fast hand of Midas here. Has the recipe already. So maybe they're just hoping to, to get some farm, but even Spectre with a Radiance, there's going to be that window where Spectre has Radiance, and... To be fair, Dusa doesn't really care about a Spectre Radiance. No, but he'll she be able to... She just takes it up. Dusa doesn't, but the rest First of his team one. does, and oh god. The kill gets killed. He was playing way too... way too... Yeah, I was there. looking mid, because this is exactly what was going to happen. They were setting up a gank here. And Aloha Dance, he'll be in trouble. So first blood will Radiance come out for a head, but they will this tower is going to take hero. a lot of damage too. I think this and tower yeah. might fall. There's a glyph coming out. This Hellbear Smasher just took a spill, but they have three heroes being on it, and Storm Spirit is reviving. Five seconds of ETPs, and he is dead. Faux show, but AA gets coiled out. He is. Uh oh. 
Uh -oh. Yeah, our Zeke is definitely in some trouble here. Illusory Orb, the Shockwave to start it off. That's an easy kill. I'm not sure what our Zeke's plan was. Just it was a delay to the Soda Tower lives. Yeah, well, it will live for now. Roger taking some heavy damage. Those Nature's Attendants are out. Poison Touch is online, but he's okay for now. Poor Aloha Dance. He's so close to level 6. He's like, man, I wish I had my ball lightning right now. Roger will survive. Spectre joining the fray, though. Spectral Dagger online. And Impale will connect with Ami. And well, he does keep the tier one tower alive in the mid lane. It is actually in deny range now, so I I I, I guess that sacrificial death. Yeah, yeah I guess it was it worth it. The tier one tower mid for radiant is Dyer's very important. It so. depends on how long this tower stands up. But I mean, if it, if he just dies so it gets denied, I mean it's just like eh. Well, it looks like oh hook shot in onto Lola. He's in big trouble. He will face shift. That's much. the panic puck. Yeah, don't. Face shift before you orbing, back. you're gonna die. If he orb, he would have had a decent chance of surviving. Storm would have zipped, but at least it would have burned his Dyer's mana. Yeah. Would have given it, yeah, at least a chance. They will deny the tier one denied. tower in the mid lane, so say goodbye to your access point. Yamaha on the top lane going with the 3032 build, so no points in split shot, not just one value point in mana shield, but instead going max mana. Man, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. The few Medusas that I've seen usually get some early points in stats just because her initial stats are so low, like we mentioned. You need that HP buffer. But ahead are kind of making the mistake right now of not pressuring Medusa at all. At least not Who yet. Who cares they're, if she farms? They have a Spectre. They're more focused around keeping their Spectre's farm, which is okay. Ooh, Aloha Dance. He's in some trouble. Dream Coil came out. He's already taken the damage from breaking the leash, and he takes a stun. He missed! Oh my gosh, the Illusory Orb is off the mark. He zips to the low ground, and uh -oh, Aloha Lolic. Dance That was an easy kill. Should have been an easy kill. Yeah, that was, that was just a misplay. Well, I guess he thought he was going to Juke left and said he juked right. Too easy. Too easy for Aloha Dance. Aloha Dance. Bat Rider, he's got the Tranquil Boots up now. He is level 6, about halfway to his Blink Dagger, a little bit short. They have no stacks for him, though. That's a big problem when you have an Enchantress. She needs to jungle. She needs to farm and farm and farm, just attack. like this Dusa. Level 8, level 3 Mana Shield. They don't have any Mana Burn, so that's good, although the Spectre could easily go for a Manta Diffusal build instead of Radiance, but Radiance he actually went for a Vit Booster. Why do you need a Vit Booster, bro? I would just... Um, I mean, Vit Booster is very cost-efficient for the HP, but they're not really ganking him. They haven't yeah. really just messed with him at all. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, the Vanguard build, maybe he's just gearing up for a Vanguard here, or it's Ugh. just a casual li uh, Vitality Booster. If you go Vanguard, I think they're probably, like, if, if both these teams were of equal school, they'd probably lose out, just because he went Vanguard. Because yeah. if Medusa goes Midas and farms, and Spectre goes Vanguard and farms, Spectre's right. gonna fall super far behind. Now they're gonna gank the Medusa up top. The zip in, the hook shot as well, and actually, see me the Slayer on that Spectre will haunt in, and they grab a kill on the Medusa, so very smart. The high value target, Dream Coil, connects with no fear, and Aloha Dance. Stress coming in as well, and Pale actually off the mark. Now, Lolik taking heavy damage, he falls. The Panic Puck once again. Now Aloha Dance trying to make the escape. Will get the Grave from Dazzle, they're gonna pursue Roger. And can they finish off this Enchantress? She's sprinkling around. There you go. There's the Poison Touch. The Wisps will go to bed. And yeah, she will fall. Dazzle grabs that kill. And now things looking a little bit better for a head. Before that, though, I was going to say, if you want to go this Vanguard build, it's really good if you're fighting, if they're putting a lot of pressure on you. But Drums is much better. Not good if you're just farming. And yeah, we've, we've talked about it quite a few times. Drums are just an, an all-around better value than Vanguard on a hero like Spectre. On pretty much any hero? Pretty much any hero, but... Maybe Bristle I would disagree with. I think Vanguard's a little better. Mm, stout Shield Drums. Eh, I would still go Stout Shield Drums. You're a, you're a Drums fanboy. No, I'm a anti-Vanguard boy. You're a, you're a Vanguard hater? Yes. That item is poo-poo tier. Yeah. Well, Hookshot comes in. Stress has no mana. Yep. And will they find a kill? No, actually Medusa uses the ultimate. No fear, just turns around. This is one of the problems with Medusa's ultimate, though. The counter is just don't look at her. Just run away. It's, it's kind of an odd mechanic, where it's like, if you can use it when they're already committed and they can't turn, like, if y you use it at that time where, like, turning will mean their, meet their, or mean their doom Daya's because their backs are turned and you can, like... Like if they get drink cold. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, something like that. I mean, there are, like, instances where you have, like, either way it's a lose-lose. Either they look at you and they get stunned or they run away and then they just get scraped up because they can't run away from your team. But, it's like, it's only good when you're, like, trying to defend the high ground in your base. Just in a situation like that, yeah, it stopped Clockwork from killing her, but... I don't know. 
That's it. If you can do it while they're stunned, I think it's really good. Yeah, that's true. If they're stunned looking at you. Zako, he's in some trouble down bottom. He's going to take a lot of slows and they'll just finish him off. That was unfortunate. I don't think Deuce is going to have time to farm this game. As it stands right now, Nyx doesn't still not level 6. Pucks died two times with zero kills on the board. Enchantress has gotten some successful snow kinks, but her time to shine is almost up. And ahead, they're just getting a lot more. Um, even though they lost that T1 early, all in all, Spectre is doing very well. The gold graph is actually slightly, just slightly, about 100 or 200 gold in favor of Aware. And things may change when Batrider gets his Blink Dagger, but he's still 600 gold away. It's going to be like a couple of minutes until he farms it up. The big difference is the experience graph, though. Ahead have about a 3,000 XP lead already in this game. If you look at that level chart, a lot of green floating towards the top. It's just Medusa who is there. Uh leading the way at level 9. In the mid, they were trying to set up a kill, but a nice phase shift from Lulik will keep him safe as the AA ult flies in. You can see that rocket flare from uh, Clockwork as well. So, well done by Lulik. He will avoid death. No fear all, um, in the meanwhile. In a little bit of trouble, but they just won't have the damage to finish him off. Again, Medusa, she just she hits like a wet noodle in the early stage. Yeah, and she has no chasing potential either. Especially when you go treads. Like, I've seen some Medusas go phase boots. Which is not bad, because then you can actually chase people down, you can do some stuff, you can farm a little bit faster as you move in between camps. But Trez does make you a bit tankier, as Synergize is better with your split shot. So I'm kind of torn as to which one is better, I think it's just situational. But yeah. yes, Medusa's big problem is you're just unable to kill anyone. If someone comes in a gank, even like a Nick Assassin who's killing the clockwork, like very far outside their T1, they still can't get a kill. Yikes. Yikes, indeed. Whoa, there's the hook shot, and Medusa, she might be in some trouble. It is Stress who's actually stuck inside the cogs. No fear will get Oh, the look at that tower doing so much work with the stone gaze. Oh, no fear. The support was inbound, but they weren't going to dive it quite so hard. The Impetus doing some serious damage to RZ. Kieran Chantress will be able to grab a solo kill. Oh, lol, like that with Dream Coil. Look how far away that is. Oh, God, no good. But here we go. Bat Rider joining the party. Simi the Slayer. He's in some trouble. Aloha Dance as well. No, they'll just turn it around on the Bat Rider. It does cost them their Spectre, but there's the Grave out on Aloha Dance. They're not out of the clear quite yet. I think Aloha Dance is slated to fall. Oh, wow. He'll grab an invisibility rune. Never mind. He survives to tell the tale. Look at the ancient dude. Man, he, he's been in some very near-death encounters. Mm -hmm. So, not a bad fight, but, uh, I mean, not a bad fight for Aware. They will take a further gold lead and actually grab some experience edge as well. They really needed a kill on that Spectre. I mean, yes, that was huge. Medusa is still number one on the net worth chart, so there is hope for Aware. She is going to go drums next. I blame the Vanguard. Dude, what is a, what is a block? <laughs> That's a good question. They don't have that much physical damage. It's I mean, mostly spells. Yeah, we were complaining that they don't have enough physical damage to go with Medusa, <laughs> so the Vanguard won't help you against magic damage all that much. Or at all, for that matter. It does block some right clicks. Yay. I think Spectre could have gotten away with the fast radiance this game. Mm, yes, he could have, but they would have had to change the way that Ahead kind of played. Yeah. Because right now they're putting a lot of pressure on Medusa, constantly getting in the top lane. And if he doesn't go an early fighting item, whether it be Drums or Cough Vanguard Cough, then... His team's kind of useless without him because they'll be mostly devoting five people to protect Dusa along with Dusa. And if they have to fight four on five, they're going to lose out, especially when they tower dive that deep. So if if they want to gank Dusa, then they need him to go fighting items. If they cool. don't... Beautiful zipping around from that Storm Spirit. Yeah. And if they don't, they're playing a farming war, Spectre versus Dusa, and you don't really want to do Dyer's that. Top tower I was thinking more attack. just based on oh, the start on they top. had, like they killed that Bat Rider, and oh, oh, Medusa, speak of the devil. She'll get stuck inside the cogs. Again, no fear gets stunned as he looks her in the eyes. Seema the Slayer, he'll get stunned as well. Oh, the AAA ultimate will Oof. fly just barely off the mark. Yamaha. He's low, but might be able to make it back. He's got no armor, compliments of that Dazzle Weave. No fear with the rocket, just one more auto attack. Where's Seema's this team? In. He's getting dough at a T2. D1's still up, and it's, where, where's everybody? Well, where's yeah, the stress. Puck? Where's the Bad Rider? And no fear, he'll get the Grave. I don't think they'll be able to make this a counter kill. And there you go, there's the positive earn. Stress and Roger. They'll be able to scoot out. Lolik will hop forward. Their Cogs reaction was so slow to this. I am embarrassed for this Medusa's team. Yeah, I mean, Lolik is, well, let's see here. They'll pick off the Nyx Assassin, but it will cost them their Dazzle. Now Roger's in some trouble. Batrider rejoins the party. He's got a lasso. Connects on the Storm. 
And Storm in some trouble. He's trying to zip. He needs to. Oh, wow. He will just barely make it out. Ten hit points to spare. Aware get completely cleaned up. Enchantress, the only survivor. You cannot play a four protect one and have your one die at the T2 without any sort of response until after he's dead. You absolutely cannot have that happen. And I think that's a big turning point. Because, yeah, they have the blink dagger, but your Medusas, he's died two times. And he's going drums. So he will have some mid-game fight in him, but the, just the response from that was incredibly slow. Storm Spirit, he was very close to dying. Spectre, he kind of just dove the T2. He was tanking it. Clockwork was too, and they just get away pr pretty much unscathed, I'd say. It yeah. was just Dazzle that died. It just Dazzle. I mean, Storm was really close. He got down to like 15 hit points, but he knew his limits. He stood in the fire and then zipped around with plenty of time. So, well done. Well done indeed. Now... The point that I was I was going to make before that whole fight broke out about the Radiance first was just that they killed Batrider in lane a few times, so Spectre just had absolute free farm, and he had some assist gold early on. And, oh god, Storm will get a solo kill on the Batrider. Ooh. Wow, this bat is really poor. I'm so sorry. I'm rambling on here. But um, I think he could have gotten that Radiance by, like, 15 minutes, give or take. And that's, like, still before Medusa comes online, so then you can just get super aggressive, just gank, gank, gank. And, yeah, maybe she's got her drums boots, but... At that point, you're you're Dyer's already tilted because your spec has attack. that huge early item. That's true. I but think she would have been able to farm, like, Dyer's if he went player. phase into Radiance, I think she can farm, like, Lincolns, Midas, Treads around the same time. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it would it would have been decent. I think this is just much safer, though, because okay. he's still going to get his Radiance, and Dusa, That's he's Dyer's still going to be poor, and they, they killed attack. him twice now. I don't know. It's still, it's still risky, though. Oh. Both, both are still risky. I don't know if... Uh, I don't know. Creatures. I don't know. There's just a lot of stuff going on in this game that I don't don't expect. Yeah, he just got picked off in the mid. Nyx was nearby. He initiated, and Puck was there as well, and ended up being a, a pretty straightforward, easy kill as Storm got caught with his pants down. Enchantress has his four staff. Nyx assassin nowhere close to blink dagger. Puck fairly close to his, just 400 gold away. And as a sans gold graph, actually just slightly in favor of a head right now, even though they, I believe they. Oh, they actually don't have any towers down. That's a, that's a big no-no. Yeah, the gold graph is still pretty even, but experience uh, is definitely going the way of ahead by just about three thousand or so. Spectre is now taking a ultimate as, coming oh, out. Yep, as number one on the net worth chart, and oh, this smoke will be revealed. Zako, he blinks forward. He grabs no fear in the lasso. Dazzle throws out a weave. Uh, shadow wave as well. This is the Medusa ultimate. Looking to pick up some kills here, but they won't find one quite yet. They're trying to commit onto the Spectre. That's not going to work out so well. No fear. He'll zone out the Enchantress. Lolic, he'll actually be the first to go down. And Grave, he'll come out onto Spectre. Well played by the Dazzle. And now ahead, they're just in great shape. They'll turn it around and make it a... Two for nil. Oh no, Ancient Apparition did get picked off by the Medusa. That was another just chaotic team fight. Yeah, it was nice positioning from Aware though. I think they just wanted to get a simple one for zero on Medusa, but they were right there to intercept that gank. That's what the four protect one is about. You protect Medusa, make sure that she doesn't die. Yeah, you had a couple of spills. Puck was actually probably more important than Deuce at that time because he was so close to his Blink Dagger. But still, Yamaha survived. He lives to fight another day. He's working on his Lincoln. It'll be super late, but it's... He, he Radiant's just needs tower items. Is under yeah. attack. Dazzle did a really good job there as well, focusing on Spectre. He got the Grave off on the really uh, ideal target as Spec. He has about 3,800 gold in the bank. He is trying to pull up for that relic. Would have been a really bad time. For he bought a Radiance first recipe ball. first? Is oh, okay. Ooh. I was like, what are you? Shall what? But why, no. why would you ever do that? I mean, I guess if you have, like, a lot of unreliable gold and you want to burn it before you die, maybe. Mm, but, but if you're going to die, you're probably going to die with 3,800 in your bank, too. Yeah. That's anywhere like from a, a 0 to 38. Yeah. I don't so I, well, I meant, like, early in the pooling up, if you have, like, 1,500 or something. <laughs> like do, any scenario, do you want to be useless for 20 minutes? <laughs> is there ever a time when you should buy the recipe for Radiance before the Relic? I would say no. Yeah, I don't think so either. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. I have Actually, that's not true. If you have 5,150 gold. <laughs> and okay. you buy both. Okay, fair enough. Cheeky bastard. Aloha dance. Yeah, he's in some trouble. Nyx will find almost a solo kill. Lola comes in and actually picks up That's really team. important because he's close to his Orchid. Yeah. So both teams finding very opportune kills. Puck right before his blink. But now that we Puck's blink. And now Clockwork has a Vanguard too. What are they doing wasting their gold? Two you can Vanguards? You can pretty much just say this 1300 gold lead is like a negative 500 with the two Vanguard pickups. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't know about this Vanguard on Clockwork. I, I think a Blade Mail would have 
just been much Four better. staff? Four staff. There are a lot of other utility items. Anything that, else? Mech? Especially on clockwork. I, like, even just start working towards your ags. It gives you some tankiness if you grab that point booster, and then you just get so much more utility. He will hook shot on Dress. Cogs come out. I don't know if it'll have enough damage here, though. There's oh, no the Spectre. What? <laughs> they still finish him off. Whoa. But. Oh, it's close. Those cogs, man. He got pushed into the high ground from the cogs. That would have been Imba Imba if he had survived that Though one. Though Dragon's actually had a pretty high chance to deny him there, so it's yeah. not only it's Yo. not only that it might have missed a kill. Yeah, that's true. Puck has an invis. He is he does have his blink dagger. Spectre, one eleven hundred gold. If they get a kill right here, that's huge, but and no no black up. No. Well, there's a team nearby, but they won't Dyer's hop in. This tier one tower. in the bottom. Attack. Heavy pressure. And, ooh, this is a nice oh. AA, AA um, vortex. Yep. And there we go. Tower falls. Link lasso on the seam of the Slayer. He will survive for now. Puck comes in with the Dream Coil. Does a lot of damage to these Radiant supports. But the cost will be Puck's life. Panic Puck once again will phase shift with no out. And down he goes. Now Aloha Dance joining the party. Roger gets killed. And that will be a two for nil, and the tower going the way of a head. Puck had the right idea. He wanted to silence the Dazzle before the grave. But, in fact, he went after the grave was um, grave was used. Yamaha will try and fight on top. But they were fighting 3v5. Nick Sessa wasn't yet revived yet from his death. And Medusa's just going to be farming away. So that was just a little bit bold. They could have made a hold of the T2 instead. Now Spectre will end up. 3, 1, and 12 on him, involved in 15 of the 17 kills, and he will have his Radiant. So now we're still in a lot of deep doo-doo. Medusa, pretty close to his Lincoln, so he's getting his farm on, her farm on, whatever you want to say. It's farm on. It's farm on. I mean... It's a her. Uh, again, this is one... <laughs> it's a her. Again, this is one of these where, yeah, Medusa's farming. She's got a Lincoln's coming up. Stress is going to get picked off again in the mid lane here. Chilling Touch just doing too much damage, and our Zeke will be willing to grab the last hit, but... It, again, it's Morphling Syndrome. Okay, she's been farming this whole time. She's got a Lincoln. whoop de doo Like, wh oh, what do you do now? Like, she's got Lincoln. So, okay, she's a little harder to kill. She still doesn't really do anything. She needs at least one more item before she starts getting scary. And she does 115 damage times 5. It's just not... She's like Morphling without the utility. At least Morphling can, like, split push around the map with his, uh, with his Replicate. Mm-hmm. And at least he's got waveform. He's got an escape mechanism. At least he can go shotgun and blow people up. She has stone gaze. <laughs> Come on, man. She has mana shield. There's just different types of heroes. Yeah. And Medusa but, is true. just not. not what what not is Medusa's good. type? Medusa's type? She's durable. <laughs> Morphling's durable too, though. But Morphling can't do dur damage and be durable. <laughs> it's true. She is durable. That like is a it, very. If good you have word. very, if you have like single target initiates like Roar and. Mm -hmm just single target stuns, then she's very uh, effective versus that. But, I mean, versus this lineup, they have good sustained damage. Like, Storm does a lot of sustained damage. Uh, Dazzle, the longer the fight goes on. Weave does more deeps. And Shadow mm -hmm. Wave does a lot of damage. Clockwork, he does a lot of sustained damage, too, with Battery Assault doing a ton. Spectre just with right-click with Desolate, too. And, I mean, they just have so much damage going into her that she's just not going to be dur durable yeah. against their lineup. Especially if he gets the Fusel. You mana burn, that mana shield is just... That's true. That's that's actually a really good point. Like if Spectre can get up, uh, like a a Manta Defusal. Yeah, mm. she is. See ya. She's done for. Done for. Dunzo and done for. She is done for. Yeah, I I think Aware definitely in trouble though. This gold graph, three thousand in favor oh, of. Oh wait, head, hold five. on. What do you what do you think about Medusa? She has some utility with a Stone Gaze. It instantly kills illusions. Not instantly. Once it gets special fight, it kills illusions, okay. and all of the haunt illusions will die. You're really, really <laughs> reaching here. You're like, like scraping the bottom of the coffee can. When you're just like, please, I need one more cup. She is Scrape no. I mean, I, I'm not a fan of Medusa. I'm just no. saying that she has very, very minor benefits. Okay, at so one, some points. One of the utilities fights. is that she destroys illusions, and Spectre yes. makes illusions. Yes, but she. Can, it's not like, it's not like a diffusal blade kills illusions. It's or well, like you know, it's not like you have a diffusal and use it on warlock golems or something. She's still like. The whole thing about Spectre's ult is the relocation tool. So even if you're in a team fight, she uses Stone Gaze. It still takes like the amount of time for her ult to channel before things get petrified before the illusions. Yeah, die. I think if it were instant kill illusions, then it would be much better. It would it maybe would be, be too strong. It would be way better. I think it would be too like, strong. What instant killing? Oh, so like Spectre just pops his ult and the Medusa just goes, oh Stone Gaze, and Spectre can't jump on her. Why that, not? I don't. I mean, maybe it would be okay. Maybe that's what Medusa. All they have to be facing her too. Like the illusions have to be facing her too. It's not like. It just kills all illusions instantly. It kills illusions that are facing her. 
Instantly, though. Instantly. What's wrong with that? It's not like she... Oh my gosh, Dusa overpowered, please nerf. You don't hear that often, ever. <laughs> no, but if that was the case, it might be... I don't know, that would be, I feel like, a little too rash, but... What?! That is too rash. Instant killing illusions. How situational is that? I guess that's true. That's There's so like, situational. It basically just counters Spectre, Manta. Maybe Anti Mage. Anti Mage. Maybe anybody PL. who gets Manta. Okay. Yeah. It definitely counters PL. It, it would. It would shit on PL. But I mean, PL would be it's like not, it's, it's an ultimate for crying out loud. That's true. I mean, Medusa's so weak right now. All right. You know what? Maybe. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll pull a John Carry. I'm a flip flop, and I don't even think it'd be strong enough. Yeah, really. I think it would be. I okay. think a cooldown reduction would be nice. I think 90, 75, 60, and some buff to the actual utility you know stone. I think I think that's that's about right. I think if Naga Siren is sixty seconds at level three, then Stone Gaze should be at least seventy. If it's not sixty, like sixty five, yeah. seventy seconds. 90, 90, 80, 70 would be good too. Yeah, ninety is too long for a level three. Ultimate. A level three ultimate. Yeah, that's it's definitely for of that utility. If it were if it were a stronger ultimate like RP, I'd be like, okay, ninety seconds is fine. But it's not RP. It is nowhere close to RP. It is. Do you think Stone it's Gaze. better, stronger, or less strong than Naga Siren's ult? This ultimate? Are way, you way, kidding me? Way it's weaker, like right? way. This is Stone Gate's is like a two and a half out of ten. So then, why is its cooldown longer than Naga's ult? I'm not talking about cooldown. Just in, in raw utility. So Naga's is better, yeah, I mean, and it has I, a shorter. That's cooldown. what I'm asking. It's it's not. It's just garbage. Yeah, it's pretty. Bad. Like in the ability draft, I look at Sunkiss and I'm like, Psh, I don't want that. So it's really bad, and I still contend that that's the best thing about her. <laughs> Aside from split I, shot, split shot's really good. Man, mana shield, I think, is really good if they have absolutely zero mana burn. Yeah, mana shield is okay. You just need the items to have it be useful. Yeah. It's not. It just like it's good at like fifty minutes. It's good at like twenty five. Once you get your lingus, I think it's good. She okay. has, she, like her effective HP is pretty high right now. She has six seventy six, and yeah. it, each point of mana takes two point five. It's one of those things though where yeah, it ups her survive like her it ups her EHP, but I feel like it doesn't up her survivability as much as like it seems like it should because it does. It just it just makes her a little tankier. Once her, she's her mana, team doesn't do destroyed. anything though. Yeah, I guess that's true. It's I guess part of the problem with the deuce is you have to have the team built around protecting it. But, like, just by herself, like, if she gets isolated and she turns on Mana Shield and all of her mana disappears and she survives for an extra three seconds, like... It doesn't matter. But if yeah. her team's there to back her up and have a big... Like, if you have, like, an RP or something like that, what about... Th that used to be a strat. It used to be Magnus, you empower... This was back when empower wasn't, like, a weekly. It was just straight 80% damage. Mm -hmm. You just give her empower, you make her split shot, and if they try and fight, you just blink RP and then you start crushing people. Okay. That that's legit, that's right? That's legit. I'm into but it. But it's like, what? What do you have? Like a coil? What's coil going to do versus Soren Spear versus Spectre? It's not going to do anything. Or a Clockwork who already uses Ultimate and AA who's yeah. standing out of the fight and dumps dumps his Ice Blast. It's just it's a, it's not a well conceived lineup. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 true. The problem with the Mana Shield, just like okay, I, I guess it, it it does have utility, but I keep thinking of it as like other survivability tools, like comparing it to Waveform or something. Or what about like Bristleback? Bristle because oh, Bristleback's way better. Yeah, it is way better. That's the thing. But you have to com compare it to damage mitigation. Yeah, yeah. not an escape. Not, not an escape. escape. Okay. It's durable, not escape. Durable, not escape. If all you right, have this tag, right, I heroes, see where you're coming from. All right, now we're speaking the same. It's language. like dispersion on Spectre is so much better. <laughs> yeah. Because it actually does damage. Oh my God, you're right. Dispersion is like way better. But is dispersion pre Radiant's or post mitigation? Um, attack. I think it's post. I'm not entirely sure. But I'm I'm pretty sure it's post mitigation. So it would be better if it was pre mitigation, because it would reflect more damage, right? Well, you also get. Um, I I don't actually know. I'm pretty sure it's post mitigation though. Okay. Like if you get a Laguna Blade, Radiant's it won't do 450 damage. It'll do 337. Well, that's not like. It's post mitigation. No, it's like armor or magic resistance. Like if you get Laguna Blade, it does. Yeah, like, it'll, it'll, it gets reduced by your magic armor, and then that damage that's left over is, like, the 22% then, that gets dispersed? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. I got you. Yeah, I think so. I'm not positive on that, though. Yeah. They've reworked that spell a lot of times. Yeah, they have. It used it, to be so OP. It used to be... It's sw it used to be chaos damage, too. Or pure damage. It is pure. It's, it's still, still pure, pure damage. damage? Yeah, it used to oh, work on illusions, OP, yeah. and it used to be percent-based instead of, like, percent to proc instead of just flat percent. Yeah. Like okay. it used to be like twenty percent to block hundred percent and it used to work on illusions. And illusions used to take three hundred percent damage. So one of your illusions, you drop a carrion swarm in the fight and everyone just dies. That was like the first day of her release, and I was like, This hero is so imbalanced and that got fixed real quick. Yeah. But that, I mean that's pretty like next level broken.
So, all right, let's see here. 18 to 10, big lead for a head. About 4,200 gold, somewhere about 5,000 experience. There's a Radiance up on this Spectre right now, as well as the Vanguard. And Medusa, how you doing, Dusa? Uh, she's working on that Lincoln's. I think it's on the Courier. Get right me now. out of this trench. <laughs> oh, God. I am, Please. I am not a good hero. Get me out of this trench. So, what, is, what is Lincoln's block here? Not very useful stuff. Cold feet, maybe an electric vortex or a orchid, which I would say is actually pretty useful, or a poison touch from Basil. So at some point, sometimes you just go straight Manta. Is this a straight Manta game? And they're it's it's about the same. Yeah, Manta's good. You need Lincoln's Manta Butterfly Scotty on her. Yeah, That's Manta Lincoln's Butterfly Scotty. Pizza whatever. Trevor, what's the last one? Rapier. Rapier. MKB. Damage. Daedalus. Whatever you want okay. to do for damage. Okay. Yeah. Aegis. Yeah. Scotty is really good on Medusa. That is like that item is better on her than anyone else. I think. It's really good. It's it's really solid. I mean, it's it's a pretty solid item in general, if you can farm it. But on Dusa, it's it's really amazing. She does farm really fast once she gets her Lincolns, though. I mean, she's farming pretty fast right now. She's actually coming pretty close to net worth on the Spectre, just one thousand behind. So, don't count a wear out yet. I just don't think they have enough like, oh my gosh, oomph in team fights. It's just coil. It's just stone gaze. Yeah. It's just a bat rider ultimate without that, mean, that much follow up. Oh, there's a hook shot in here onto Roger and. Oh God! Again, he, he got double. He got double cogs. cogs though, so yeah. that's okay. That's ugh, no fear. He's in some trouble now. Wow! God, Poor bat rider. Bat rider just gets destroyed. I don't really think no fear is the one that's in trouble. It's the other way around. Use your coil, bro. This Vanguard mech. There's the coil, and team will be here. Oh God! This is kind of a, a disaster. Clockwork falls, but now Sima, he's just trying to burn him down with that radiance. Lolik in stress. Uh, see you later, stress. Lolik will be able to survive. But that was a one for three. That was like all clockwork. Yep, he went for max mana burn instead of max carapace. If he had max carapace, I think he would live there. But max mana burn is decent Dying's versus storm spirit. I don't really think storm spirit is the one giving them problems. It took him so much just to kill that clock. Yeah. Took like four heroes and a couple ultimates. Three ultimates. Yep. So, hmm, Medusa is now level 16. We're also assuming that a head will not play this correctly. If they don't put the pressure on and they give Medusa the space she needs, a wear can turtle up. Like, once all of their outer towers are down, it will be difficult for a head to break the base. I don't know. They can just get the Aegis on Spectral or Storm and just... Yeah. Wow, Aloha Dance gets caught up again, but he has enough. And he's got a great. He's got plenty of mana to zip away. I think he should survive this one. Flame Break Orb off the mark. Now Lolik, he's in trouble. The Panic Puck once again. Oh, Lolik. Nice plays from the Sandin, though. He's been really on par, on uh, point with these graves, though. Yeah, he's been in the right place at the right time. Yes, he's like the opposite of Aki. Yeah, Aki really didn't play that good well, of a Dazzle earlier. It's he was at the right place at the right time. He just didn't have graves. He seemed to just underestimate the amount of burst damage that would come out. It's like he was trying to be too stingy with the grave, and then people would just die. Well, he also has level 4 grave at level 11, or Aki had a level 4 shadow wave instead of level 4 grave. That helps a lot. Yeah, it does make a difference. Half cooldown from level 3 to 4. Do the wave. Mm -hmm. Even just that level 2 is a big jump. And stress coming Dyer's around the backside. Looks like he may fortified. try to even find an engage onto fear. Dire? They will go ahead and use their glyph, but they won't even really go for the deny. Tier 2 in the mid lane dies, and ahead will further their gold lead here. It looks like they will keep the pressure on, but... Medusa has Lincolns, but at the same time, her look at her, the net worth. It's Spectre and Medusa are fairly close, 1600 gold difference, but everyone else is just super poor on Aware. Mm -hmm. Super poor. Yeah, actually, if the top five right now net worth are only one on the side of Aware, and that's Medusa. Other than that, it's all ahead floating towards the top in terms of gold farm. They will do a three-man smoke down in the bottom lane. And it looks like they want to get aggressive in the jungle. They may find themselves a Spectre, who now has Yasha. So it, those illusions, man, they're going to be getting wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked by Seema the Seema the Slayer, games. nice awareness, backing off after farming the jungle, knowing that something is fishy. Fishy, fishy. Orchid is also up on the Storm Spirit. There are other Radiance items that we haven't made tower. mention of. Oh, oh, there's the Manta. Medusa's going for BKB. Bottom tower That's, has fallen. That's when you know your Medusa's not in a good position. Yeah, like, Lincoln's into BKB is... You just don't hit hard enough. It's one of those, yeah, you can survive, but to what avail? Oh, nice hook shot. Hook shot on the stress. 
And no fear. That will be an easy kill. He just stands there in the cogs. And they find another pick off on the side of Aware. Spectre, he's going to grab the Bat Rider. That's actually dumb. That was a solo Spectre kill, too. Yep. I. Jesus. He had a lot of support nearby as well. Yamaha's chances of carrying this are extremely oh, slim. It's not a BKB. Oh, it's a Maelstrom. Snake. Okay, nice. Attack. Is that nice? It's better than BKB. It's better than BKB, yes. Yeah, I, I think BKB would have been crazy. Attack. Well, I was like, there's definitely no way it's a Dezo. So I assume BKB. I am wrong. Yep. But Maelstrom is okay. It's well, is he, is he a good Mjolnir wielder? Is he or he is? is? He? Is she? Uh, I th think she's all right. It's not bad. Not bad. I just think there are other items that are better. Like, I think Butterfly and Scotty are yes. way better than Mjolnir. Well, orb effects generally aren't that good on her. I mean, Scotty's guys is because it gives you a ton of HP. You're not actually paying that much for an orb effect. Right. But Medusa, you can only have Chain Lightning off your main one, so... Right. Meh. It's, yeah, it, I mean, it's definitely not bad. It will uh, it ups her, like, DPS a lot because attack speed is good with split shot. Like, the more split shots you can get out, the more damage that they do. So, like, I don't mind it in that sense. It's just... There are just better choices. Although the build up to Scotty is difficult, so maybe due to feeling like that's unachievable. Our Zeke now has uh, the Ag Scepter up on AA, and they'll try and gank him, but that's not happening here. Stress, he will be in the front lines, taking a lot of damage. Actually, a big ultimate coming out from Medusa. A lot of members of a head will Four get people. stunned here. And Storm Spirit will fall. Ame in some trouble. Now, no fear. He's caught inside the lasso. The big Medusa plays, but in comes Seema the Slayer, and we'll see if he can live up to his name here. Puck does not panic this time, but still in big trouble. And we'll, we'll be able to blink up to the high ground. Will the burn be enough? No. He doesn't know where he is. Can't find him. Split up your illusions, bro. He could, like, one here, one here, one here, and kind of cover his... Oh, yeah, he actually orb into it. Oh, God. If that... I think if that spec had backed up, the puck would have considered hopping to that orb. Uh-oh, there you go. He pops a haunt. See you later, puck. See ya. Nice ultimate from Sima. Yeah, nice ultimate from Medusa, though. Yeah. That was a pretty good setup. That ends up being a one for two. And uh, Yamaha really set that up. So we see the power of Medusa right there a little bit. A but ultimate again, in base. Is Stress going to die? No. Maybe. Oh, he does have Scepter. He's got Ags, dude. This could be death. Let's watch him. I don't. Mm, yeah. I, uh, it's close. What do you think? I think yeah, yes. He's going to shatter. Throws the Impale just for good measure. See ya. Later. How does A get this much farm, though? Because they knock down all the outer towers. Yeah. Because Deuce is not very useful. The tower count is 6 to 2. Seema the Slayer still staying slightly ahead of Dusa, and he is going for the Manta Diffusal. So this is bad news bears for Dusa. Really bad. Unless she's able to get all the illusions, including the Manta ones with Stone Gaze. Then it's good for her. Yeah. It's possible but that's like one of those things like okay you stopped him from burning your mana but what's the cost of it you have to burn your ultimate and it doesn't it's not like you you don't well, get I, any gold from killing illusions and specter yeah. can just keep making them it's still not that it's all right i mean it's, all right. it's not if, bad if, but no it's if, not i mean if you really can stone gaze four people and kill the illusion then it's amazing okay yeah i mean that's but that's that's, that's like, kind of like saying if you can <laughs> go, if you can land an amazing ultimate it's gonna be amazing yeah well he gave he got four people last time yeah that's, it's a good yeah, mm. just solid. But notice what Spectre did. He didn't waste his ultimate. He didn't ult into the uh, the stone. It wasn't up. Oh, uh, it wasn't up. That no. wasn't a, that wasn't even an option. He had 25 okay. seconds left. Giving when he, Spectre when he ran time. in. Yeah. All right, that that one's on me. That's my bad. Well, good call, Merlin. They do see a lot of people around the Roshan pit, and Medusa has spent all of her gold. If she dies right now, they will have no buyback, and Ahead can easily do Roshan or even take a rack. So. This is pretty scary fight from Aware, but they know they're up against the ropes right now. Almost 10,000 gold lead in favor ahead. Here they go. Both teams are in smoke. Are they going to find anyone? Batrider will find. Uh oh, he's going to grab Seema the Slayer, but Batrider will get hookshot straight away from No Fear. First to go down will indeed be the Bat. Stone Gaze comes out once again. They find a kill on Spectre. No Fear, he's the one to get the uh, the, the shallow grave there. That's the word I'm looking for. And almost surviving, but one last impetus up the high ground will finish him off. Now Storm comes zipping in. There's the Orchid. Rogers in some trouble, but no. It's Aloha Dance that's in trouble. He does have a Haste Rune, though, which actually can hurt you against Enchantress as you run away from the impetus. That level but 4 mana burn. Yeah, he will Radiant scoot out. And again, a 2 for 1. Medusa makes a hold. and That's huge. They killed Spectre. He got caught in the Stone Gaze and just got bursted down. Mm -hmm. And that, that's really big. The power really of the Stone big. Gaze, Merlini. I know. Now Medusa, she will probably overtake Seema the Slayer in terms of net worth. And she he wasn't able to do anything. What are you going to do? Not use your ultimate and then just die? That's her Mjolnir. You know, and Medusa, she had that before the fight. We're poo-pooing on Medusa so much that 
There are there's there's a, a growing collective in Twitch chat right now that are rooting for the Medusa. Just I'm rooting for Medusa. Oh shut up! You're not. You no, can't I want Medusa now. to win. I like Medusa. <laughs> I used to play her all the time. <laughs> I, I like. No, no, Medusa. I think she's a terrible hero, <laughs> but I like her sometimes. Like, so you like her, just not what she does. Yeah, I think she's a terrible hero, but it doesn't mean I don't root like for her. I always root for the underdog hero. Like Morphling, you like the way that he plays. He's just yeah, weak right now. Okay, yeah. I got you. Just because I don't like, I think a hero's crap doesn't mean I don't like them. Uh, I don't know. I man. think Spirit Breaker's crap, but he's fun to see. He's fun to see <laughs> the Spirit Cow just chasing into people. Come on, man! I thought we were on the same team here. It's, it's fun seeing Huskar leap into people and then die. Is it though? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Huskar. I don't okay. know. I used to play Deuce all the time though. That was like yeah. one of the heroes I played in comp. Like, Last time I played Deuce, insane uh, I drafted her in a public captain's mode, and my team got so mad that they just left. <laughs> that was when I realized how bad Medusa is. Just her presence. Medusa is really team. garbage though. I would. Yeah. I would like to see some buffs on her. Yeah, but uh, they're rooting for her, man. She's got a, a growing fan base. They're hoping Medusa can make us eat our words with how amazing she is in the late game. Although. Disclaimer, we said that she's amazing if they give her enough time to get six slotted. So. Don't try and cover your tracks. Hey, hey, we did say that. That's fair enough. Come on uh, now. Yeah, that's true. Like I said, we're assuming that a head will make the misplay to give her the space that they need and well, not what, what misplays have they made? Yeah, they've taken some questionable team fights in the mid there. Yeah. I mean, that last fight in particular, like, they, I mean, they got initiated on. They, they can't get initiated on like that where they're forced to fight. Like, Incoming. no fear used it was, his hook it shot defensively. Yeah, but he almost killed the clockwork. And th they didn't get the grave on the Spectre. I think that was a big deal. Yeah, that, that was definitely a big misplay there. But they just don't want to fight like that. Like, all clumped up. Like, that's why breaking high ground is so difficult against Medusa. Because she can just stand at the top, stone gaze, and if you're committed to the base, you you're, you don't have an option. You're oh, another smoke forward, coming right? out. I mean, if they get the Aegis on Yamaha, I think they'll actually be in a pretty good position. Yeah. Because Spectre's farm has kind of petered out. He's... He's died a couple of times recently. Storm Spirit is kind of ineffective because he didn't go BKB for some reason against a Max Man or Burn Nyx Assassin. And he said five deaths. Looks like Spectre might get caught out here again. Oh, no. See, these are the kind of misplays that I'm talking about. Oh, Rosini. boy. Sima is just going to get obliterated by this five-man. So look how much damage he returns. Lolix actually going to fall as No Fear joins the battle. Maybe it won't go as well as we thought. This time, the Stone Gaze won't be as potent. And Spectre just destroying this, ra this dire team. Pardon me. Look how fast Medusa dies. There you go. Boom. I see you guys in Twitch chat following that Boom. last fight. Well, maybe Medusa can buy back, but can she really do stuff on her own? I don't think so. Puck Not is still down for 35. Nyx is still down for 35. Batrider is still down. No one else has buyback. It is going to be a 2v5 defending a T3. I don't know if this is going to happen, but maybe that was a nice Spectre bait. He's like, hey, whatever, I'll die, and then I'll kill you all. Yeah. But uh, dispersion's, dispersion's really good. That, we've been saying panic puck. That was a panic stone gaze right there. She would have been better off just not using it and having it up right now to defend the base. If she had the stone gaze, she could actually oh, do something. Oh, she, she might die again. But now she's in trouble. Yeah, the hook shot forward. Yamaha won't make it okay. back to the kill. I think that's easy. And yeah, Deuce it down Man. for 100, 100 seconds. Oh, now all of a sudden we're... Deuce, uh... <laughs> well, um, I, at least she lost, so maybe people will be like, oh my gosh, please buff Deuce. Yeah. I, I, would, I mean, I think she's in need of buff. She's, she's pretty weak. They could have drafted her in a better lineup. I, I think their draft is terrible for yeah. Medusa. She, I mean, she only, she, the only reason she doesn't take the cake on my list of, like, the, the absolute dumpster tier heroes is because she can be, like, a, a super hard carry. She's one of the hardest carries. It's like, she, Space Cow is just worse. But if you have, like, an ogre bad. with Bloodlust, there used to be a ogre, Bloodlust, and Empower strat. I think you just, like, Empower and Bloodlust a DK. And then he just goes to town. I think they could do the same thing with Medusa and just make her Superman. That would be interesting. An ogre Medusa, I like it. Yeah, they, they they just don't have a lineup built around her. Yeah. They have some space graders. They have like some early game. They have some anti push, some AOE, <laughs> but no one that actually makes her really strong. No physical damage to go with it. No one that can save her from immediate demise. Yeah, but I don't know. This game still isn't over. That's only one lane of racks down. And I mean, that was a that was a that was big. Medusa dieback though. That was a Medusa dieback, but it's I, I still have a sliver of hope. I'm I'm telling you, man. If they had Roshan, I think Ahead would easily be able to kill, if kill Medusa, Medusa twice. If didn't panic ult right there, that was literally like, oh my god, they're killing me, I better ult. And like nobody even got petrified right there. It was a terrible ultimate. She, she was killed the Haunt anyway. Illusions. She, what? She killed the Haunt Illusions. But her team still died. That was, that was the goal. That was the goal. I can, I can understand why she did it. It just wasn't wasn't a good time. Well, yeah, they. I think they could have like that buyback. We'll see Stress get hook shot. See you later. Um, like she could have 
defended that push, I think, if she had Stone Gaze available. Or she could have at least bought a considerable amount of time and done a considerable amount of damage. Yeah, but she, you can't fault her for that. It's, the alternative is they Stone Gaze, they waste Spectre's buyback, and then they can fight pretty much without Spectre's buyback, and they just get a simple one for zero. That was the alternative, if everyone lives there in turn. That was her goal. Okay, I see where you're coming from. It, w it wasn't in vain. It was like, oh my gosh, they're focusing me. I need to use this ultimate, or bad things may happen. It was like, That's I see Spectre ultimate. Like. I'm going to use my ultimate. All the illusions died, but then he reality then comes in with Manta, and she doesn't have it up. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he does... Yeah, I, I guess so. I don't know. I, I don't like the idea of using the ultimate just to try to stop the Spectre illusion. I, don't, I didn't like it either, but at the same time, he saw, he, he saw his team was really low. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. You see where she's... Might yeah. not have been the right choice, but you at least see that. The AA the ultimate came out. Right. The haunt came out, and they all took a ton of radiance and dispersion damage trying to kill her. So everyone was really low, and she's like, "Oh my goodness, I better do something to save my team because I can't do anything else besides press my R button." Right. And she just her team just fell around her. But yeah. I mean, her team's really under farmed. This is the one thing I don't like about their lineup. Like everyone's super under farmed. They don't really have to focus anybody else except for the specter. Yeah. Or except for the Deuce. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it's just one of those things where it's like. If you're gonna buy back, you need the ultimate. Like Yamaha buying back there was almost like it didn't really help anything. Yeah, I think again. she could. Uh, I don't know if she held on for the buyback though. They might have lost like two racks, but Maybe. I mean they lost uh, racks and Roshan anyways. Right. So yeah, I don't know. It's just like the buyback without. It's sort of like Death Prophet. Like buying back after you've already used your ult. You, you, that's like mo that's a big part of your power. If they're pushing into your base and you're Medusa and you're like the lone defender, the last stand. You well, her ult's not supposed to be that important. She's supposed to do like a ton of damage without it. It's just like like Spectre can do a lot of damage without his ultimate too. It's not for the damage. It's just to stop them from destroying your structure. <laughs> <laughs> it's just to stop them. From, it's like yeah. Naga. It's just to buy you some time. The difference is you can actually kill them while they're stuck in stone instead of Naga's, which just buys you time and then afterwards you die. Well. Poor Medusa. Poor she has her work cut out for her. <laughs> Either way, poor Medusa. They could lose this fight right now and lose the game, but it, it's a pretty high possibility with Spectre having the Aegis. He has 2,000 HP. If yeah. Aware executes perfectly, though, they can win this team fight. Yeah. So, oh, they have a Necrobook, too. Ooh, Yamaha. I'll put this, the, uh, the static charge on himself. This is going to be difficult. Where was that? That hook shot. He got that dazzle. Oh. <laughs> I heard it, but I didn't see it. I was looking at the base trying to anticipate it. Oh, he's got an ag. But... No big deal. So this very well could be the last fight of the game, though. This is like the one last stand. Stone Gaze is up. They need to make it happen right here. Lolik, he hops in, starts off with the silence on the Spectre. Not bad. Doing a little bit of damage. They don't have the Glyph for another five seconds. They will sacrifice their Tier 3 tower. Aware, you gotta do something. Another hookshot miss. So no fear. Two lanes down. They had to do something. You can't, can't just watch your barracks die. Yeah. Well, range down. Okay, here we go. Initiation, lasso, onto Aloha Dance. He's in big trouble. Grave comes out, well done. BKB is live on Medusa. She's popped her ultimate already. Look at all this damage. This is what I'm talking about. Stone Gaze from the high ground. Uh-oh. Can they get Seaman Slayer again? That would be huge, but A ultimate cleans up. Oh, God. Well, now they don't have, mm, it's not that bad. It's really more just the agents. If they didn't have Roche, that would have been an easy hold, but now that Seema's back... <laughs> no fear. <laughs> He's just dancing at this point. Oh, man. Going to the... Going to the disco. Yeah, I, I think that's about it, though. I mean, now with two lanes of racks down, aware. If there is any hero that you want to hold against two racks, though, it is Dusa. Yes. Yes, I mean... Or Gyro. Oh, Dusa. Mm. Deuce is, I'd say, slightly better at that. Wait, wait, wait. At, wait, I'm sorry. Say, what's at the? holding against two racks down. Deuce is pretty good. Um, like just or, or Mega the, Creeps. The clearing the base or just like, oh, when they're shoving in. Yeah, she's pretty good at that. I mean, she's got the split. Yeah. I was thinking like an, like an AM or somebody with a Battle Fury. There, I mean, that's they're pretty good at just pushing lanes out as well. Like, so, like hard that's carry true. with a Battle Fury is pretty solid at that. I agree. So, yeah, I mean... Gyro is pretty good also, that that flat cannon. She's one of top three. Yeah, for sure. She is good at clearing creeps. Poor Medusa. Poor Medusa. It would have been cool to see her win. They're still not out. I, I mean, it's they took no. a big blow. 16,000 gold down the drain. Or 16,000 gold. It's uh, not lead. completely over yet, but it's it's getting there. It, we're getting close to that. Just they're too BKB's bad a good pickup by Medusa, though. I think it's really good because it blocks a mana burn from yeah. the Spectre. It blocks his dispersion damage, his haunt damage, his disper uh, his 
uh, desolate damage too. Jeez, diffusal damage. Yeah. No, it's it's definitely good. I I just didn't like the BKB right oh, after. Oh yeah, that was that right after gross. Uh, Lincoln. You need some sort of damage in there. So the Mjolnir, it's not bad. But why would you get Mjolnir against like, when you have Stone Gaze though? It's like not, you you can't you can't. Yeah, I didn't even really think about that. That's why. Jeez. I, I, I yeah, I should have just gone. Scotty, like started working. Or Manta. Scotty. Or Manta, yeah, Manta. It's been a bad first item either because then you get the illusions. It gives you that kind of. They have a lot of single target, like yeah, Clockwork, have, yeah. Clockwork, that's, Spec, and Storm Spear are mostly single target. That's heroes. what I was trying to say. They have single target. <laughs> but whatever. Yeah. This is why it's a standard build. So no fear. It looks like he's actually working towards a sheep. Uh oh. Ultimate orb uh, and the void stone. AA, how are you doing? Our Zeke looks like he's on his way to a four staff following that. Why does Aloha Dance have a Shiva's instead of a BKB? Like, he died so many times because he just got mana burned twice, and then he doesn't have any mana. He just. Shiva, Shiva's is decent though versus Dusa. I guess if you're not scared about having any mana, then it's pretty it's good. All, it's alright. It is a little bit weird on Storm here because, like, that last fight, Aloha Dance was the target of choice. Grave is what kept him alive. If he didn't get the grave, he would have been done for. But Spectre now has a heart of Tarras, he is which is the definition. He doesn't of have there. buyback though. If he if he just runs in like an idiot with buyback, they'll win the fight there because he just buys back haunts and then they all die. Mm, but yeah, or only Yamaha's left alive. Does Yamaha have buyback? Yes, he does. So still not over for aware. There's a sliver of hope here, like you said. Medusa's good at defending the base in this kind of a scenario. Just look how easily he clears. Is she had a rapier? Screens. Yeah, I mean, if she grabbed Rapier here, there's a there's a small chance that they could make a hold and wipe up their. Team. I think it's the Especially best item choice for her right now. Yeah, they're I think uh, you, they're in Hail Mary mode. It's time to do that like crazy risk. Like you're pretty much Dyer's gonna lose just straight up. You got to do attack. something wild. The problem is just being able to farm it. She's still a ways off. She can sell her drums. That's true. Still wouldn't give her enough. But Dyer's middle tower baby is under attack. She sold her Midas. Why? Why my carry a TP scroll. Oh, they're coming outside of base. Whoa! Wow, this is really bold. I think this is a mistake. They're gonna find the Spectre. The trap has been sprung. Yamaha just going ham with that split shot. Has already popped the ultimate, but this just isn't an ideal spot. I'm looking at the Dusa. Specs doing some serious damage on the other side, and Dusa doing a good bit as well. It is a two for two. But they just don't have the damage. Medusa now will buy back. They still killed three. That was actually a three for three. Yeah, but they didn't get Spectre. Yeah. Spectre's the big deal here. Like, who cares if Storm Spirit dies? He doesn't do anything. Storm Spirit, I mean, he has, Spectre has 3300 HP. He has Radiance, Manta, Heart, Diffusal. He's almost 6 loaded. Again, the problem here, well, actually, we'll see that hook shot. And, oh, this could be a dieback. Where's your mana run? shield? He oh. That burst that he took at the start was without mana shield. Rut row. Oh, no. Now Yamaha is just going to try and slither back to okay, the well. Okay, that's He didn't even use his drum charges. Oh. <sighs> He's making Medusa look bad. They, their draft made her look really bad. Yeah, there's the GG. They'll tap out. See, the problem with moving out of the base like that, they didn't realize it was bait as hard as it was, I think. They put the Spectre in the lane. They were like, oh my god, Spectre solo. Let's do this. They had to go for a Hail Mary. Yeah, the team, they had to go for a Hail Mary, but not like that. With Medusa's ultimate, you have to put them into some sort of a corridor. That's why she's so good at holding high ground, because you're stuck in this little triangle. There's no, okay. There's nowhere else that you can go to break the base besides... That area. Looking at damage done, we see Spectre with a whopping 39,000. Mm -hmm. Dusa is at. She probably did a lot. 25,000. That's not very much compared to Spectre. Yeah. That but. dispersion, though, it, it, it adds up quick. Um, well, yeah, imagine if it were a Spectre. <laughs> just imagine if it were a Spectre. Well. But, so anyway, in a final fight like that, that's just not how you want to use the Medusa because. It, I wouldn't call that like a panic ultimate. It's like you're in a team fight. You want to see if you can petrify people. But she was like in the middle of the fight, and then you had one guy here, one guy here, one guy here, and then Spectre's killing all of her supports over here. You're not going to petrify anybody. She petrified like three people. Three people got petrified. Yeah. Oh, all right. I'm but I mean, still, so they didn't get they didn't get Sima. They have to kill the Spectre. Right. Like if you're actually defending the base and they're trying to break into the tier three, then they're all stuck there, and you can actually like get their team clumped up and try and get a good stone gaze. In a situation like that, like you'll get some as they turn around because the fight is chaotic, but it's not the same thing. It's it, you know yeah. you need to try and position like other team Medusa. She's firing this way. Instead, she's like in the middle and they're all around. The her. way they approached the fight though was really smart. What Ahead did was they just had Spectre beat on the base and everyone just sit really far back. If you go on the Spectre, 
everyone will just come in. He'll get grave. Storm will zip in. All this bad stuff will happen. Right, right. And if they if they don't, then they just lose their tower. So right, they force okay. them to go on them, and they're not all clumped up. Ideally, you get a five man coil into a stone gaze. If you run away, you all get stunned, and you're still taking Medusa damage. If you face forward, you'll get stone gaze, and you'll still take Medusa damage. That's yeah. the ideal initiate. That's but I had never gave to him. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't even close. Like three heroes is yeah. There, there's a middle ground that you have to find where at least you have to like. You, I, I think that Medusa was just a little too liberal with her ultimate. That's like your big power. That's her big Kahuna. And you get, that you ultimate's gotta... crap though. It's it's really hard to position. I don't know. Like everyone's just sitting out there. Like a Clockwork Hookshot could come in at any time, and the meanwhile they have a Spectre Bee on their base. They have to do something. It's never going to be a clean initiate when you're the one that has to. So you think that final fight was the way they should have done it? Like they should have hopped no, out. No, 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 no. I don't think oh. they should have done it that way. I think they they were working the best that they had because every time they, like they defended the T two in mid, T three in mid. It was Spectre beating on it with the Aegis. They couldn't do anything. And they just right. lost the T3 and the and the racks. They're like, okay, whatever. We can't take a fight in base. We'll try one out of base. Whatever. Okay. That didn't work. And I feel that, you. That, it's just like, we got to try something different. We have to do something. Yeah. I don't know. I, if, if, like, if I were them, I would have tried to turtle off and see if they could have gotten a rapier. That would have been interesting. That would have like, been better. It would. I think that would have been a better chance to make a last stand yes. and like get a surprise rapier before they even see it. Mm. See if you can get them to commit. Maybe bait with one of your weaker people. Like put Nyx out in front so they think. That I think they thought the timeline was target. too short though. He had like yeah. thirty five hundred gold. If he sells his drums, he still needs like two thousand. Sell the Mjolnir, man. At that point, who cares? Yeah, I, did, I did not like the Mjolnir pick. I still yeah. think a Manta would have been a lot better. But anyways, they Medusa actually held up a lot better than I expected. I expected this to be like a 25-minute, mm -hmm. hey, Spectre's just going to crush everybody. Medusa's going to have one item She had lose. a couple of big ults where they turned those two yeah. fights around, even despite a really large... I, I think the problem with Medusa is that she doesn't fit in a draft. You had to draft like three or four heroes, either like a huge four protect one or just, I don't know. I it, think Dazzle would help a lot. Like, having Dazzle yeah. on the same team as Medusa is a good combo. But I Medusa also up against Dazzle is rough. There were a few times where he yeah. got clutch graves, and that was... A head's just not... A head's just better than a wear, too. So, That's... like, you, there's a lot of confounding variables. The heroes were crap. The the <laughs> the heroes with Dusa were crap. They didn't have that much physical damage. Right. I think that Radiance Liner was actually pretty good at dealing with it, um, too. They have, like, Clockwork kind of lock her down if she doesn't have BKB or Manta. They have Spectre mm -hmm. with a Manor Burn, and... They just initiated a, like a lot of the times on them without them being able to do that much and ahead to being stronger. So this is not really that good of a example of Medusa's Medusa showcase. Full power. Okay, that's that's fair enough. That's a that's a good summary. I man. hope I hope more teams will experiment with her, but please draft physical damage if you're gonna. <laughs> this is a plea from Merlini. Please <laughs> draft physical damage. Please draft Medusa. heroes that synergize very obviously with. Skills that need synergy, like <laughs> this it, guy. Is it is this it that guy. hard to ask for? <laughs> it's like drafting. Know. I don't. I don't know. It, it just seems so simple. This Merlini guy, drafting physical damage for stone gaze. Please, please, guys, please. Guys, tell us what you think about uh, Merlini's casting. Head over to the subreddit, reddit.com slash r slash beyond the summit. Anything and everything, we do check it regularly, and uh, we do reply to Flame me. comments, questions. Merlini likes getting flamed, Flame him, so too. A good spot. Yeah. Flame everybody. That's what it's Flame for. ahead. It's, it's Flame aware. aware. Flame the bat rider. Flame the world. It's our subreddit. We'll, we'll have some fun. Flame Twitch chat. <laughs> Flame Twitch chat. So that's it for us today, though, guys. Uh, we will be back tomorrow. I won't be. Actually, I'm off tomorrow, but there is Star Ladder EU. So that wraps it up for us today, man. Star Ladder fun is... Fun games. Yeah. Fun games. Interesting. So take care. We'll see y'all tomorrow.